Cobra. So, for Cobra, we're going to be using some blocks. Alright, so place the blocks on the mat. Right, right on the edge of the mat on either side. Good. Then lie onto your tummy, like so. Okay, place your hands nice and flat on the blocks. Okay, keep the legs straight, point your toes. Okay, initially look down towards the floor, then just gradually, as you push your palms down onto the blocks, you want to be lifting your chest away from the mat. So you want to be peeling off your chest as much as you can from the mat, right? Keeping the shoulders away from your ears and your elbows stuck in as much as you can. As you five breaths here. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, two. Inhale deeply, Exhale deeply, three. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply, four. Last one. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply, five. And then come back to sitting. So, Cobra is really good because it, it makes your back stronger, which is really good for improving your posture. Um, it also stretches the hips. If you're sitting all day, then you're stretching the hips in the opposite direction, so that's also very good, okay? And it's also really good to, to improve your core strength because to be able to hyperextend your spine, you need to keep your tummy and your core and your abs nice and tight, close to your spine, to protect you, yeah? All right, so now what we're gonna do in variation number two is we're going to be slowly going from elbows bent to elbows a little bit straighter, but not completely straight, yeah? So, lying back down, okay? This time, you're gonna move the block forward on the right side, and a little bit forward on the left side. So maybe just an inch further forward, okay? So your chest is in between the blocks, your forehead is facing down, your legs are straight behind you, Make sure your sitting bones, sorry, make sure your hip bones are pressing evenly on the mat on the other side. And then gradually what you want to do is you want to be lifting your chest, right? Okay, so we're just going with elbows a bit more extended, right? But keep your shoulders down, away from your ears. And then lift your gaze just to eye level is fine for now. Squeeze your bum. Five breaths starting now. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, one. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, two. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, three. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, four. Last one, inhaling deeply, Exhaling deeply, five. And then slowly, gently, lower back down. Good, all right. So, from here, you're gonna move the blocks further forward again. This time, two inches, yeah, on either side. Right, so, remember that to be able to lift your spine higher and curve your spine further back, you need to not only have a strong lower back, but you also need to make sure that the spine lengthens, yeah? So first lengthens, then it curves backwards, right? So find the length in your spine to allow it to curve backwards, all right? So variation number three, gradually going from bent elbows to straight arms, but do it gradually. There's no rush, okay? Oh. All right, five breaths starting now. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, one. Inhaling deeply, 
Exhaling deeply, two. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply, three. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply, four. Last one. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply, five. Then gradually lower down. And then push back into child's pose just to give your back a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, because we've uh, worked quite intensively in the lower back section of the spine, so you need to stretch it out now. Okay, inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, two. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, three. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, four. Last one, inhale deeply, exhale deeply, five. Lovely. 